today we're doing a strength training routine. We are going to start with tricep dips. We're doing 10 of each exercise. So 10 tricep dips. You can do this on a chair, a bench, a couch, whatever you have. All right. So like I said, 10 of each. Next, we're going to do step ups. We have two legs, so 10 on each leg. You can either alternate legs or you can do 10 on one side and then you can do 10 on the other side. Obviously, the taller the bench, chair, step, whatever you're using, the harder this one is. So if you need to work up to doing a taller step, that's totally fine. You can see I switch legs there. So we're in the second half of this exercise, focusing on that knee drive at the top controlled motions, powering the arms. Good work. All right, the next one we're gonna do is getting into a plank routine and we're gonna do push-ups on that bench. And the higher the bench, the easier this one's going to be. So if you're doing it on stairs, you can go higher up or lower down, whatever makes sense for you. Do what feels comfortable. We're going to do a split squat here. So one leg back, weight on that front leg, and you're trying to keep that knee tracking out towards your pinky toe to turn on the glutes and get them firing. Of course, switch legs, 10 each side. Here we go. Nice work. Again, that weight stays on the front of your body. Nice job, everyone. All right, and we're gonna go back to that plank position. We're gonna do knee to elbow here. So we're kind of twisting the body, planking, keeping that belly button tucked in, kind of like uh, engaging that pelvic floor with the movements. Good work. You're gonna do squats down till your butt touches and then pop up. And like I said, we're doing 10 of every exercise, but if you need to do more or less to get the workout that you wanna get in today, that's totally fine also. If you need to take a pause in between the exercises, totally fine to do that. Back to our plank position, mountain climbers. This one's fast, but it'll get the heart rate up. Good work. All right, we're going to take that step up that we did and we're going to turn it to the side. So now we're doing side step ups, 10 on each side. Nice and controlled mo motion there. That's it, everyone. I'm going to switch the sides here, do my other leg. That's it. Another way to make this harder is to do it on an uneven surface like I'm doing where I'm kind of having to balance because the cushion adds a level of instability. All right, back into our plank position here. We're gonna do leg lifts, alternating one leg at a time. Try and minimize movement other than just that leg raising. Activating the glutes as you go. Don't have any movement in that back. We want the back to stay really strong and the core tucked in. Down on the ground, we're gonna do some glute bridges here. One of my absolute favorite exercises. I like to do these before running to get things activated. I like doing them after running for strengthening work. This is a routine that I would suggest doing after running, and I have incorporated these into, into this routine. Um, you can do them on the bench or you can do them on the ground, wherever you're at, whatever feels the most comfortable to you. All right, so we're gonna stay on the ground. We're gonna do sit-ups. You can do crunches if sit-ups are too much right now. That's absolutely okay. And you can see we're kind of alternating between either a core slash arm 
exercise and then a leg exercise. So that way we can keep things moving smoothly and we don't have to take a lot of rest in between because my legs are resting while I'm doing my core here and vice versa. All right, we're getting on towards the end. How's everyone doing? Nice job. All right, so we're gonna do a side lunge here with one leg up. That weight's going to be on your standing leg. And you're gonna try and push that knee out over the pinky toe to make sure that it's tracking well in the direction of the pinky toe, I guess, not over top of it. We wanna make sure that the movement stays controlled and underneath of you. We're just engaging the glutes with pushing that knee outwards instead of letting it buckle in. And these ones can make you really sore, so let's not do too many. Um, this is one that you'll have to work up to if you're not familiar with this motion. All right, so we're gonna reverse that plank and put our feet up, and then we're going to be twisting side to side. So we're kind of starting to engage those obliques, but we're not doing a full-blown side plank. Um, which is much more challenging. So this one is tough. It will definitely uh, start to wear on you towards the end, especially in like the arms and shoulders for me. Go at the pace that feels appropriate to you. You don't have to go fast. It's totally okay to slow down any of these movements. All right, so we're gonna do a single leg squat now and go down to what feels comfortable. Um, you don't need to go all the way down to the bench or all the way down to the step. Just do what feels right, what stays controlled for you. And of course, we need to switch legs here. Do 10 on both sides. In running, we are never on two feet at once, so it can be really helpful to incorporate some of these single leg strength work into our routine so that we can help even out any imbalances that we might have. All right, back down in that plank position, we're gonna do a mountain climber with our feet up this time. So this one is tough, challenging, but it's going to be over quick and then we're done. Nice work everyone and you can repeat this if you want another round of exercise. Good job.